Hello Galaxy Heroes, um, here are some Grand Arena Championships, aka GAC battles, uh, apologies immediately, um, there are some out face, so these are kind of the, I hadn't used every one, yes I know, I, I kind of don't deploy my full roster on defence, um, but yeah, these are, so <clears throat> these are kind of like pretty much overmatched battles, but um, yeah, they're here. So um, if you've got all of this lot left and you need to clear up them, there you go. It's not great though, is it? 61 banners. I think I kind of knew that I'd, I'd won this. It was a bit of showboating, which yeah it's kind of a not showboaty that's that's the wrong thing uh this is kind of like the <clears throat> the relief the relief that you think you've got it uh you've bagged a well not quite a bag full of crystals but you you know you're gonna get a, a decent kit crystal payout and the relief that that brings and yeah and the rest of it is just kind of <clears throat> playing around and testing um, Omicrons. So, as you see, uh, we lost Savage very quickly there. Um, I'm kind of like, oh my God, going into panic. And then uh, we get a bit of resilience and boop, there you go kind of an expensive one there I didn't expect that to happen Savage uh, today is 1st of September 22 so profundity we're all waiting for that to start and we'll jump through the hoops including the fact that the gear to Relic 9 um, Radus is hasn't been adjusted in the quality of life thing yet so there's all of that up in arms about you know the blatant cash grab let's delay that so we get everyone to spend more thanks a sip of his water mm, not tea at the moment I'm trying to be healthier um so yeah as you can see i um, i try and capture the descriptors on the various omicrons i mean this is just really ridiculously uh, overpowered option but again as I said uh, these were like the tail end of of this particular round um, I do have some ship battles and I, I just thought I would upload those separately um, including the um, facing a a triple attack executor and the nice ease not easy and nothing's kind of easy easy unless you kind of go in this overpowered on something but um a, an option to consider for a triple attack executor executor i always get yeah i always get that wrong right um where are we now so we've cleared all of that um yeah and now we're gonna jump back a bit so um i must admit i was scoping and i couldn't see uh a, an obvious <sighs> cheap and, and if you understand my meaning, cheap, you know, a, a cheap high score opening round, you know, we get a bonus 10 points. So, you know, the higher we can go and if you can, if you can want your first battle, then that's 78 points on the board at the get go, which will just help kind of address any slips that you may encounter later on. But I couldn't find one in this round, uh, but I must admit I do like using geos on uh, on first order whenever I can whenever the opportunity presents itself it's a case of well you know, I, I have the scope here because of their 
abilities and the lead that brood alpha brings and the fact that they can regenerate so you know, if you can you can click that shield there and just start to build them back up again uh, they're a full squad of geos so let's switch big better boom 102k there you go crew's gone um and we hopefully should be able to do that to uh og kylo kylo as well so unfortunately he's not healing enough and i'm hitting him with everything so we don't get maximum banners but 70 banners um i think that's a pretty cheap uh opener for some reasonable points uh this one here i think this is one of the few parts or edit a few bits of this vid where it's actually at real speed everything else uh, it was 26 minutes and I'm guessing you don't really want me waffling on for 26 minutes on every move and everything so yeah so again this is uh, the datacron here that I'm kind of showcasing is the uh, the CLS one which works wonderfully um, and uh, yeah I'm liking the the non gl um counter for palp star killer which can prove problematic or even you know, costing heavy in regards to what you use what you're limiting the rest of your options to um <clears throat> okay so as you can see here this is the I got the level 9 Asajj Datacron and realistically uh, I think I went in too heavy handed um, she doesn't actually get the benefits of what hers is which is that her and uh, the ally that attacks with her or on her turn out of turn or something I can't remember the exact specifics of it get 25% turn meter I don't think that actually gets applied anywhere here uh, but there's a, f a few buffs that night sisters get so yeah just thought I'd try it it's there it's kind of like use it don't use it well use it try it um but the key the key the key three parts here four maybe is um slkr with daka and zombie so zombie is just there to just eat up as many of the attacks as possible um and yeah basically wait until slkr ramps up and he does ramp up oh my so uh yeah as in um this is the thumbnail if you are we there yet not quite do another zippity do no okay you have your fun let's have ours and a bit of recovery and and Delay gratification and boom, 942k. He's not getting up from that. Da da. Okay, so this is maybe the most interesting of them. Um, I believe that this was my first uh, interaction with um, the level 9 Malgus data cron and i'd kind of looked at it and opted to at least try my gas um see whether or not it, it was able to um yeah gas is kind of initially been our our go-to on 
Amalgus counter. And of course you get tied up behind two taunting tanks with already proc saviour. Um, and uh, well, yeah, we're not really making much inroads. I mean, can we get her out? I don't know whether... Right, yes we can. So ideally we want Halon kind of to go, well, we want all of them to go, don't we? Oh. Okay. Poor editing there, didn't realise that I was getting messages on there, but yeah. Okay, so, four sifts, one gas, two clones. It's not looking great, but then, obviously, seen the thumbnail so you you know the outcome of this probably misplaying a lot of this but I'm just trying to whittle down as many Sith as possible right so it's brilliant we've got Malak out that's really helpful um, and we managed to get Revan out as well so um, much deliberation, asking of uh, the, our guild alliance and what what do I use? And I'm pretty sure when I asked, would bounty hunters work against this? And I was given a yes, they would. Uh, nod. They was probably under a different lead. Um, um, I'm realising that I'm stuck in old school that I still kind of, you know, use the classic leads. So obviously the issue here I have immediately is the fact that I cannot target Talon to proc the uh, the payout, which will speed things up somewhat. Group attack. She's still stealthed. Right, there we go. So now boom just try to one shot her that didn't really work do a bit of cleanse thankfully boba isn't dead yet so he can target whoever he wants but now of course she's stealthed and then she's gone but thankfully that means that there's only one target now as we started with two for the payout to hit I believe, da-da, we hit it. That was a lot sketchier <laughs> than I anticipated it being. Um, but yeah, so we got through to that. Ships to follow. But that's my gag. Thank you for watching.